So welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. I am here again with Tommy Pickles because if you guys can't tell already, he's beginning to be one of my favorites and you will probably see a lot of him until the new finally wears off, I guess you could say. Um, it may not <laughs> because I don't know how many of you know or remember from a long, long ago whenever I first started collecting dolls, I had a very, very, very hard time owning any newborn size dolls. The dolls had to be size zero to three months and up. And the biggest baby that I have owned is obviously the Liam Sculpt. And anything bigger than that, I have not owned. But when I first started this hobby back in 2015, I did acquire dolls that were newborn sized. And as soon as I got them, I would only keep them for a couple of weeks and I ended up reselling them because I had such a hard time um, with newborn sized dolls. I don't know why. I'm okay with it now because you guys all know that Lily, not Lily, Lola, is only 20 inches and can wear size newborn and some size zero to three months. And so I'm okay with her. But back whenever I first started this hobby back in 2015, um, I had a really, really hard time with newborn size dolls. So I think that the reason I am so um, attracted to the pickle sculpt is because he is asleep, which I love dolls that are asleep, but I also like the dolls that are awake, but I like the bigger size dolls that are awake, like toddler size, because I don't particularly care for the smaller babies that are awake. I like the bigger babies. So the reason I think I'm so attracted to this sculpt is because he is asleep, but he is a bigger size, and that is my preference. But anyways, you guys will probably see him until the new wears off or until I get tired of him, which I don't think I ever will. But you never know because I do have Amelia up for sale and I said that I would never get tired of her. And I'm not really tired of her, guys. I think that maybe she just needs to find a new, a new home and also sometimes you just need to kind of refresh your collection and that is what I am doing. Anyways, guys, I am on here for yet another discussion because um, I had some people ask me why I'm still talking about um, negative comments and bullying and how people are talking bad about the replicas and about the pickle sculpt and why are you still bringing it up? Why can't you just let it go and make different content? Well, I will address that for you because I'm sure that you're probably watching and maybe you didn't mean to ask me in a rude way, which I did take it in a rude way because you told me to shut up and quit talking about it. It's getting old. The reason that I come on here and talk to you guys about this stuff is because it is stuff that is happening on my channel and it is relevant and current. If this was stuff that was happened 6, 9, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, I wouldn't be talking about it anymore. This stuff is happening now. I got this comment that I'm addressing right now yesterday on Monday. Um, so that is why I'm addressing it. I'm not giving out names, so I am not uh, making these people famous or giving them attention. I have named absolutely no names. All I have done is come on and say the comments that I have gotten or things that people have said, and I have not given any names. And so if those people think that they are getting attention by me addressing it, then so be it. I really don't care. Yay for them for getting their five minutes of fame. But I will not shut up about it and I will continue to talk about it as long as all of you fools keep doing it. 
And the people that I'm calling fools are the people who decide to leave rude comments, come to my channel and watch my videos whenever you claim that you don't like them, um, come on my videos and tell me that I'm doing things wrong, um, come on my videos and make it a point to tell everyone that you're sick and tired of the content that I'm making. And yeah, so as long as you keep telling me those things, I will keep addressing it. Once it dies down, I will stop. Have you heard me talk about the formula and the diapers anymore? No, because no one has said anything to me about that anymore. I'm not addressing people and giving their names. I'm not um, talking bad about people. I'm simply addressing comments or messages that were sent to me. And if you think it's wrong and you think I'm doing it wrong, I'm sorry for you. You don't have to be here listening to this. I am basically telling the people who want to hear it because I have gotten great comments. Great comments from people telling me that they thank me for speaking out because they wish they could, but they're too afraid to. Um, they want to thank me for uh, proudly showing my replica dolls and telling everyone it's okay to have them because they quit making content and showing their replica dolls because they were bullied too much about it. I've had great comments with people supporting me. I've had tons of supportive comments. I've had tons of people message me telling me wonderful things. So I do not come on here all the time and talk about the bad negative things. I am not doing that. Um, I do block people, I do get rid of people. Once I address it and I block them, I move on and I don't keep coming back and saying the same thing. Everything in every video is current and things that have happened repeatedly, currently. So I'm sorry if you find my content boring. I'm sorry if you don't like my videos. I'm sorry if you think that I'm doing things wrong. I'm sorry if you think that I'm doing role play wrong. I'm sorry if you think that I'm dressing my babies wrong. I'm sorry that you think it's wrong of me to buy real things for these dolls. But that's really not my problem. It sounds like a personal problem and it sounds like a problem that maybe you should address and look at yourself and maybe not to watch people's videos that you don't like. You know, that's just a thought. Um, same with my AI videos. I have fun with those AI videos. I think they are fun. I take photos every single day to do my free five AI videos and post as shorts. And I have had not just one person, but several people tell me that they're sick and tired of me doing the AI videos. Well, that's, that's great. If you don't like them, you know, you don't have to watch them. There are uh, thousands upon thousands of channels on YouTube that I don't watch because I don't like it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's my latest little squabble is that um, I had someone tell me that I needed to shut up and quit talking about uh, the bullies, the um, reborn police, the Karens, the trolls. I need to stop talking about them because I keep talking about them and it's getting old. Well, if you would quit leaving messages and comments that were stupid, I would quit addressing it. But I come on and I incorporate my dollies into my little rants and it, you know, my rants will eventually slow down and stop. But right now I address things that are going on um, within my own channel. And also sometimes I address things that are going on in my friends, my YouTube friends channels because I am supporting them and letting everyone know that I support them and that they have been done wrong just like the reborns.com thing. Totally stupid that Cena and all these people got kicked off of it because they have replicas in their collection or because they support people, you know, who own replicas. Um, just like back whenever, back a few months ago, whenever everyone was supporting people with replicas because the Dolls of the World Expo put out their big old stupid thing. So, I address things that are relevant, current, happening on my channel. So, I'm sorry if you don't like it or if you feel like I keep talking about it 
and that I just need to move on. Well, I will move on, but you know what? I'll move on after I talk about it and after I want to move on because I come on here and I use my voice to help others to let them know that, hey, you know, feel free to share your replicas. Feel free to share your Cabbage Patch Kids, your Barbies, your Monster High dolls, your vintage dolls. Don't let anyone, you know, make you feel like you cannot share them because that is ridiculous. You know, most of my collection now is replicas and, you know, if those people don't like it, then don't come to my channel and don't watch because I will continue to share replicas. I will continue to support replicas and I will continue to promote replicas, the ones that I think are great. And you know what? China did a hell of a job on the pickles sculpt because I've had numerous people come to me thinking that this doll that you see right now was an authentic pickle kit because I painted him. And no, it's not. It's, an, it's a replica kit that was painted that I stripped and repainted, which you all know, but for those of you who don't. So China's getting real, real good. And so when the sculpts are this good, I'm going to say something. Anyways, guys, I will stop now and I will stop because I want to, not because someone is telling me to. And if you're talking about me, you know, feel free to throw my name in it publicly. You don't have to keep sending me private messages telling me this stuff, but, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that little outfit that Tommy has on is supposed to be like a snowsuit type thing. It is skin tight because it is zero to three months. So I need to find me another one like that that is six to nine months that will fit him better for the winter time because I think he looks absolutely adorable in it. But anyways, guys, I am sorry that this video is not funner. I know my videos have been a lot of uh, topic videos and my opinion videos and so forth and so on. And I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. And I know a lot of people like the role play and the dress up themes and things like that and I do do those but I've been incorporating just chatting with those videos instead of strictly just doing like role play, feeding, changing, whatever. I'm horrible at changing on camera, I will tell you guys that. Um, one reason why I don't like to do it on camera is because I don't like the way my arms look in the camera. Um, since I've lost some weight too, I have a lot, I have like massive bat wings because I've lost weight. And so I do not want those in camera. You guys do not need to see that. But, um, I do incorporate things into my videos. It's not just all ranting. Um, if that was the case, I wouldn't be showing you a baby and I wouldn't be, I would just be on here talking with nothing. But I try to incorporate dolls into every single video, whether it be ranting videos, uh, fun videos, product reviews, anything I try to incorporate dolls into for your guys' enjoyment and entertainment because who wants to stare at me the whole time while I'm talking? Not me. Anyways, guys, I do need to do a Wagovi update for those of you who have been asking. It has been a few weeks since I've weighed. I think I'm going to weigh this coming Friday. I'm not sure because it will be shot day on Friday. So I may do an update on Friday. Um, we'll see. The scale and I don't have a great relationship, so I, I don't get on it unless I have to. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Tuesday. Tommy and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye, guys.